Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me for this Feel Good Energy Flow. As always, if you really like to practice with props or you're a bit more inflexible, I highly recommend you grab two blocks, maybe a yoga belt, anything you can think of to replace. And when you're ready, you can go ahead and be on your mat. So when you guys are ready, you can go ahead and grab your blocks, place them towards the top of your mat because that's probably where you're going to need them to begin. We're simply going to start in our regular child's pose. So you're going to bring your knees as you usually would, slightly wider than hips distance. Big toes are going to come to touch with your exhalation, slightly going to let your bum glide towards your heels. Hands are going to glide forward. Forehead here is maybe going to melt down on the mat. When you're here, I'll also invite you to close your eyes if you haven't already done so. Starting to bring your focus, your awareness inward. So focusing on your breath, your body. Also taking the time to activate your ujjayi breath. So inhaling and exhaling through the nose. Always ensuring that each inhalation and exhalation is as equal as possible. You can also take this time to set an intention for your practice, for your day. Next inhalation, slowly going to press your hands down on the mat. Curl your chin to your chest, really round in the back of the heart. Wave it forward to like a tabletop position. When your shoulders are over your ears, you're going to exhale, let your hips dip down. You're going to unglue your legs, so legs are going to come as wide as your mat. Start to micro bend in the arms, bending into the arms, wrap your arms around, and then finding your high cobra. When you're here, I want your pelvis to be glued to the mat. So if it's lifted like this, you can simply start to walk your hands a bit forward. Again, keep a micro bend in your arms. Arms are not fully extended. Micro bend, wrapping those arms around and then pressing your heart forward. Maybe tilting your head slightly back. And exhale, draw your chin towards your chest. Bring your toes back together. Bum glides back, child's pose. Two more like this. Inhale, curl your chin and wave it forward. Exhale, hips dip down, leg come as wide as your mat, wrap your arms around it and walk your hands forward if you need, high cobra. Exhale, draw your chin towards your chest, hips glide your back, child's pose. Really nice, last one, inhale, draw your chin towards your chest. Exhale, hips dip down, inhale, leg come as wide as your mat, press your hands down. This time on your exhalation, you're going to let your chest melt all the way down onto the mat. When you're here, keep your hands wrapped, uh, I mean, by each side of your chest. And you're going to keep your arms wrapping around and in. So kind of imagine you're in a baby cobra, maybe a high cobra setup. So don't let your shoulders fall out like this. You're going to inhale, lift your head. Exhale, lift your hands off the mat and hold. Focus on your breath. Lift your chest off the mat. Squeeze your glutes down onto the mat for five, four, three, two. Wrap those arms around and in. Exhale, slowly lower it down. You can lower your right cheek down. Maybe release your arms by your side if you need. Shake your legs out a little bit from side to side. Really nice. Next inhalation, I'm going to press again your hands on each side of your chest. Wrap your hands and your arms around in it. You're going to press your hands down. With your exhalation, you're going to walk your right hand a little bit forward. You're going to exhale, press both hands down, wrap your arms around in it. You're going to try and extend your right arm. When you're here on your next exhalation, you're going to shift the weight towards the right. Like you're going to sit your bum back behind you. You're going to flex your feet. Keep that left leg over the right. So getting a nice side stretch here. You're letting yourself fall here to really get a nice side 
stretch on your right side. With your next exhalation, maybe walking your right hand a little closer to you. If you want, you can also cactus the arms. Whatever makes you feel better. One more full breath. Next exhalation, slowly going to start bending in the left leg, pressing your left foot down. On your next inhalation, you're going to roll back behind you. So just let yourself roll back behind. When you're here simultaneously, you're going to let yourself slowly lower all the way down, bringing your right foot a little closer to your butt cheek. I'm going to extend your arms by your side, fingers, palms facing down here. You're wrapping your arms around and in again. So fingers do not touch your foot, but your foot is still close to your bum, like in a glute setup. Bridge, glute bridge setup, sorry I can't speak. On your next exhalation, make sure that this left ankle is stuck over your right knee. You're going to exhale, lift lower, middle, and upper back. Slowly press slightly your left knee down and hold. Keep reaching up with your hips for five, four, three, stay strong, two. Exhale, lower, upper, middle, and lower back. You're going to lift your right foot up. Inhale, interlace your arms underneath your right thigh. Exhale, try and bring that thigh as close to your chest as you can. You can take some movements here from side to side. Take a little moment for yourself. Next exhalation, you can slowly release. Simultaneously roll yourself back on your right side for that little side stretch position. So place your right arm back. You're going to start extending that left leg forward. Slowly wrapping that right arm around and in, make your way into a sphinx pose. So when you're here, you want to be on your forearms, palms facing down, shoulders over your elbows, legs as wide as your hips, wrapping your arms around and in, pressing the floor towards you and up, so not letting yourself fall in the shoulders here. Exhale, slowly melt your heart all the way down, bringing your hands on each side of your chest. Second round for the other side. So when you're ready, inhale, lift your head up, lift your chest up, lift your hands off the mat. Focus on your breath. Wrap those arms around and in for five, four, three, two, slowly lower now. Gonna walk that left hand forward. Inhale, press your hands down again. Wrap your arms around and in. Try and extend the left arm. We're gonna exhale, sit your bum back, back, back. So shifting the weight towards the left. Keep that right leg over the left, flexing your feet now. Again, you can walk your left, I mean your right hand a little closer to you. Maybe cactus the arms if you want. Whatever you need to feel a nice stretch here on your left side. Next inhalation, you're gonna step right foot forward in front so now you know what's coming on your exhalation you're going to let yourself glide all the way back so i need to move a little bit so let yourself melt all the way onto your back bring this time your left foot a little closer to your butt cheek make sure the right ankle is stacked over your left knee kind of in a figure four position you're going to extend your arms in front palms facing down inhale lift lower middle and upper back press your right knee down a little bit Maybe walk your hands, your arms a little closer, but not too close for this one. And just hold for five, four, three, two. Exhale, lower upper, middle, and lower back. Lift your left foot off the mat. Inhale, interlace your arms underneath that left thigh. Exhale, slowly bring your left thigh to your chest. Take a few movements here. Take a moment for yourself. Next exhalation, can slowly release. Again, shifting the weight back onto your left side. For me, since I moved a little bit earlier, I think to readjust slightly. But finding that side stretch we had in the beginning, exhale, start extending your right leg forward. Slowly wrap left arm around and in, finding your sphinx pose. Press the floor towards you and up. Exhale, let your chest melt forward, pressing your hands on each side of your chest, wrap those arms around and in, inhale, draw your chin towards your chest, let your hips slide you back, tug the back toes, slowly make your way to your downward facing dog. 
So when you're here, take a moment. Make sure you're taking enough space on the mat. You can pedal on the legs if you need. Feel a little tighter in the hamstrings. As always, I suggest you keep the heels lifted. Slide bend in the knees. Making sure you're really pressing your chest towards your thighs. Looking towards your belly button. Gonna take two more full breaths here. Making sure you're wrapping your arms around and in. Kind of imagining that your armpits are looking at each other. Next inhalation, starting with one round of spinal wave. So in, hawk her chin in. Really rounding the back of the heart. Wave it forward to your high plank. When shoulders are over us, you're going to exhale to belly. Lift the tail, lift the gaze, bend the knees as much as you need. Simultaneously, let your hips slide you back. To your downward facing dog. Head is the last thing to come down. Two more. Inhale to wave it forward. So try not to move as slow as you can. It's not a race. Exhale, drop the belly. Lift the tail, lift the gaze. Often see people in classes, in my classes. Try and go really fast when doing these. Inhale to move it forward. You want to feel the movement. Exhale, drop the belly. Lift the tail, lift the gaze. Hips slide you back. When you make it back, inhale, right leg lifts up. Three-legged dog, make sure your hips are square towards the front of the mat. Inhale, left heel lifts off the mat. Exhale, draw that right thigh to your chest. Slowly lower your foot in between your hands, lower that back knee down. Untuck the back toes. Inhale, arms come up. Low lunge. Make sure your right knee is over your ankle. With your exhalation, either you're going to lower right hand down by your side on the block, taking a side bend towards the right. Make sure you keep pressing your heart forward. If you're more flexible, maybe you're going to lower right fingertips down by your side. Make sure also to keep right knee over ankle. Inhale, both arms come back up. Exhale, pressing your hands down on your blocks. Shift your hips back. Strain your front leg. Make sure hips over knee. Front leg is straight. Front foot is flexed. So if right toes are flexing towards your face. Use the blocks if you need. So height of blocks that you need on each side to help you find that straight back. If you want more, if you can, keep that spine straight. You can try and lower it down. Make sure you're looking towards your toes. Using your exhalation here to help you create more space, more comfort in each posture. Next inhalation, you're gonna press your hands down on your box, find your straight back. With your exhalation, you're gonna press left hand down or again on your block, inhale. Right arm reaches up, find like a twist in your half split. Make sure you're pressing that right hip down to really have those hips squared. Next exhalation, you're gonna bring left shin back behind you simultaneously, lift right leg up, finding modified side plank here. Make sure you're flexing that right foot. You're going to inhale, maybe bend your right leg. Try and grab the outside of your right ankle with your right hand. With your exhalation, you're not going to pull onto your foot. It's just kicking, so pressing into your hand to maybe get a side stretch. Next exhalation, slowly release back into your modified side plank. You're going to inhale, try and crunch your right thigh towards your chest. Try and lower outside of your right foot down, right hand. Right shin, square yourself out towards the front, finding your pigeon towards the front of the mat. When you're here in the beginning, you want to make sure right foot touching the left hip bone. You're never letting yourself fall out like this. You can grab a block, place it underneath your right hip if you need. Make sure you stay squared. If your pelvis touches the ground and you're getting really flexible, you can start working to walk your right shin more parallel towards the front. If you do that, make sure right foot is flexed, but again, don't need to worry about that now. Inhale, press your hands down. Exhale, let yourself melt forward. Most important part is that you feel a stretch. You stay aligned. Focus on your exhalation. Take this moment for yourself. Got three more full breaths here. Exhaling the tension you're feeling in your hips, in your legs.
Next inhalation, slowly going to curl your chin in, press your right hand in the left, slowly lift yourself back up. You're slowly going to bring your right foot back in if it was out. Press your hands down, tuck the back toes, lift that back knee off the mat, pull right leg to your chest. With your exhalation, simply walk right foot on the outside of your right hand, prepping yourself for your lizard. Again, make sure wrists are in line with your right heel. You can lower that back knee down and tuck the back toes. You can always place your hands on your blocks here if you need. Make sure right foot is really touching the side edge of your mat. You're pressing your heart forward, letting those hips sink down. So wherever you are, if you can go a little deeper, you want more, you can lower the forearms down on your blocks. If you're on your forearms, make sure your elbows are in line with your right heel. Hmm. If you're really comfortable here, on your next exhalation, you can slowly let your right leg fall out, so coming a bit more on the outside of your right foot. Keeping your chest pressing forward. Next inhalation, press your right foot down, press your right hand on the left. Pressing your hands down, tuck the back toes, lift that back knee off the mat. You're going to try as much as you can, bend in the back leg if you need, and slowly shift the weight forward to step left foot forward. Draw your heels in, toes out, exhale, sit your bum back and down from the wasana or yogi squat. Bring your hands to prayer to heart. Make sure your spine is straight. You're really pressing your heart forward. If you need, you can always place a block underneath your bum if you have a hard time keeping your spine straight. Next inhalation, you're going to press your hands down forward or on your blocks. Try and strain your legs. Draw your toes in. We're going to inhale, find a straight back whatever way that is, and exhale, let yourself melt forward. You can bend in the knees if you need here. Hold on to opposite elbows. Take some movements if that feels good. Next inhalation, press your hands down, curl your chin in, find that straight back. We're going to exhale, press your hands down, so bend in the knees if you need. Step right foot then the left back, find your high plank. With your exhalation, you can bend in the knees, lower the knees down if you need. Make sure spine is straight. I mean, this whole side stays straight like a plank. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a moment here, two full breaths, reconnecting with the shape, with your body. Next inhalation, slowly let right away left leg lift up. You're like a dog. Make sure your hips are square towards the front of the mat. Like as straight as you can. Doesn't matter how high it is. Inhale, right heel lifts off the mat. Exhale. Left side to your chest. Slowly lower foot in between your hands. Lower that back knee down on the mat and check the back toes. Inhale, arms come up. Low lunge. Make sure knee over ankle. With your exhalation, either left fingertips come down by your side on your blocks. Again, listen to your body. Make sure letting those hips sink down, pressing your heart forward so you're not rounding like this. Using props if you need. Inhale, both arms come up. Exhale, planting your hands down on your blocks. Shift your hips back. Straighten your front leg. Straighten your back. And slowly with your exhale, maybe let yourself melt forward. Focus on your breath. Again, don't compare yourself to me. Make sure hips over knee. You're flexing that left foot, so toes are really pointing towards your face. Inhale, pressing your hands down on your blocks. Again, you're going to press your right hand down. Exhale, lift left arm. When you're here, you're pressing your left hip down a little bit. With your next exhalation, bring your right shin behind you. Simultaneously, lifting left leg up. Flexing, keeping that left foot flexed. Next inhalation, bending maybe in your left leg, maybe grabbing the outside of your left ankle. Exhale, pressing your foot into your hand. Getting a nice side stretch. Next exhalation, slowly release. And you're way back to your modified side plank. Inhale, crunch, left thigh towards your chest. Placing the outside of your left foot on the mat. You're going to place left hand down, left shin down, find your pigeon. Facing the front of the mat. So make sure this time left foot is touching your right hip. 
Again, not letting yourself fall on the outside. Taking whatever variation you took, using the blocks if you need. And on your exhalation, slowly let yourself melt forward. Take a moment for yourself here. Four full breaths. Connecting with your body, with your breath. Next exhalation, slowly curling your chin in, press your left hand and the right. Bring your foot in a little bit, press your hands down. Tuck the back toes, lift back knee off the mat, curl. Left eye to your chest, distinctly step left foot on the outside of your left hand. Finding your lizard prep. Make sure your wrists are in line with your left heel. Left foot is stitching this outside, the side edge of your mat. I'm going to slowly lower that back knee down on the mat. Make sure you're pressing your heart forward. Pressing your heads down. You can always place your hands on your blocks if you need. Or again, if you want, even on the other side, you can lower on the forearms. Make sure you're pressing your heart forward. Using your exhalation to help you calm your thoughts, calm your mind. Mind is way stronger than the body. If you did on the other side with your exhalation, you can also maybe let your left leg fall a bit more out. So coming a bit more on the outside of your left foot. Next inhale, you're gonna press that left foot down, press your left hand on the right, lift yourself up. Tuck the back toes, lift back knee off the mat. You can bend in the back leg if you need, try and spring to the top of the mat, the right foot forward, draw your heels in, toes out, sit your bum back and down. Find your manasana, hands come to prayer to heart. Pressing your heart forward, using the strength of your arm to really press your thighs out and help you get a nice hip opener. Next, inhalation, placing your fingertips forward on your blocks or hand forward. Slowly try and straighten both legs, bringing your toes in a little bit. Exhale, let yourself melt forward. Again, you can keep a slight bend in your knees if you need. Grab onto opposite elbows, whatever feels best. Make sure you're shifting the weight towards the tip of the toes. And hug your chin in, find your straight back, press your hands down on your exhale. I'm going to step left foot and the right back, finding your high plank. Shift the weight forward, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a moment here, two full breaths. Next, inhalation, slowly lift both heels off the mat, look forward. You can bend in the knees and simply step right foot then left forward. Inhale, fly on your straight back. With your exhalation, you can bend in the knees again, let yourself mount forward. Different fold, maybe holding on to opposite elbows. Most important part, again, in any fold is that you're really shifting the weight towards the tip of the toes, focusing on your breath. Inhale, press your hands down on your shins, find your straight back. With your exhalation, slowly start bending in the legs. Slowly, 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 lower your bum down. When your bum touches the ground, lift your legs up. Arms reach forward in front of you. Keep your heart lifted. Shoulders down. Navasana. Maybe you stay here if you want more. Strain your legs, but don't let yourself fall like this. Stay here for 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, stay strong, four, three, two, and slowly lower your feet down. You can shake your legs out a little bit if you need. On your next inhalation, simply going to open your legs as wide as you can. As wide as your flexibility allows you to today. When you're here, just going to take one round of pelvic tilt. So you're going to press your hands forward. Make sure you're going to inhale to round. Exhale, pressing your pelvis forward, your bum back. So you're really pressing your heart forward, your bum back. If you're still working on your pelvic tilt, keep your hands back. Make sure you're not like this. You're really working on pressing your pelvis forward, your bum back. That's the movement that's going to help you with any hip opener. So maybe you stay here, or if you can keep your spine straight, press your hands forward. 
the moon forms down on the walks. Listening to your body. Using your exhalation, make sure you're not holding on to your breath. You got two more full breaths here. Next exhalation, slowly draw your chin in, press your hands down, slowly bit of a bit of a lift yourself all the way up. You can press your feet down, shake your legs out a little bit. From side to side, come all the way towards the top of your mat, pressing your feet down, grabbing onto your shins, draw your chin in, rounding onto your back, lower, lower, middle, and upper back. And bring your thighs to your chest. Take a moment here. Maybe some movements from side to side. Next inhalation, you're just gonna strain your arms by your side, palms facing down, you're gonna look towards the right, flexing the feet. With your exhalation, slowly extend that left leg down in front of you. You're gonna inhale, place your left hand on your right knee and with your exhalation, slowly let your leg fall towards the left. When you're here, you're really focusing on keeping those shoulder blades glued to the mat, so it doesn't matter where your leg is. If you feel your shoulder blades lifting, it means that you went too far. So always listen to your body. Next exhalation, slowly release, bringing both thighs to your chest. Take a few movements here from side to side. On your next inhalation, extending your arms by your side, palms facing down. Again, flex the feet. Exhale, extend your right leg in front. Look towards the left. Place right hand on the left knee and exhale. Let your left leg fall towards the right. Make sure shoulder blades stay glued. Focus on your exhalation, shoulders are down and away from your ears. Next exhalation, slowly release. Bring both thighs back into your chest. Take a few movements here. On your next inhalation, you're going to strain both legs on top of you. You can stay here. This has to be a restorative posture for you, so you don't have to do it, but if you want. Inhale, extend your arms in front, palms are facing down. You're going to slowly start to lift lower back, placing your hands on your lower back, finding your shoulder stand. So squeeze your glutes, stacking hips as much as you can over your shoulders. When you're comfortable, if you're comfortable, you can start maybe lowering left and right foot back behind. Make sure you're squeezing your core to really help you stack those hips over your shoulders. Maybe interlacing fingers behind your back. If you're comfortable, maybe release your hands and reach your arms back behind you. Maybe start bending in the legs. Maybe lowering shins down. Focus on your exhalation. If your shins are down, try and press them onto the mat. Doesn't don't compare yourself to me. I'm not doing any crazy contortion move. Just two more full breaths. Next exhalation, slowly release. Placing your hands back on your lower back, slowly lift one leg, then the other. Find your shoulder stand. Exhale, slowly lower upper, middle, and lower back. Bring your thighs to your chest. And with your exhalation, slowly release left leg, then the right in front. You can shake your legs out a little bit from side to side. Let your arms fall by your side. Palms facing up. Taking a moment here in your final Shavasana to truly integrate everything that we just worked on today. Thank your body for this beautiful practice. As always, you can stay in the posture for as long as you need. 
Truly hope that you enjoy this feel-good energy flow, that you have a wonderful day. Namaste.